Hi, I'm Keir Aiken. I'm a fourth year theatre and philosophy student and I'm the co-artistic director of Live Witness Theatre and I'm dyslexic. My career journey up to now, I started doing theatre when I was five years old at the Lyceum Youth Theatre in Edinburgh. Um, I took a slight detour when I went to university to do maths. I uh, was spending all my time outside math doing theatre, so dropped out to do theatre and philosophy, to what I study. Got really involved with the theatre society there, got on the board in my second year. Then I moved to California for uh, my year abroad and did something like 17 shows that year and got heavily involved in the theatre society over there. I then managed to get an apprenticeship with uh, Bread and Puppet Theatre, who are this um, kind of niche anarchist self-sustaining puppet farm in Vermont which is quite an experience and now I am back in Glasgow for my final year setting up Live Witness really hoping just to make a career as a director in the arts world. Live Witness Theatre is a theatre that is really focused on audience participation and audience complicity. We want the audience to be in the performance as they're queuing outside, it's already started because without the audience, there, there's no point doing the theatre and they need to have some sort of co-authorship. They need to feel like they are involved at every step of the way. This means doing theatre not in just simple theatres, doing it in the park, doing it in the swimming pool, anywhere that we can. That's the sort of theatre that we would like to put on. So in my kind of career path, dyslexia does hinder me like slightly in cold readings and additions, for example, when you walk in the door and they're like, right, read this and act it out and interact with your partner. And I'm like, and I find it really difficult. And I have got better, I'm way better than I used to be, but it's still something that I really struggle with and probably will always struggle with. Um, another thing that is difficult for me is my like, organizational abilities. I, as an artist, try and have as my finger in many pots as possible. I've always got lots of different things going on. But what that means is that I need to be really on top of my, top of my game or I'm going to turn up late to rehearsals. I'll check my phone three times in one day to see what time it's going to start at and I'll still turn up an hour early or an hour late, which is even worse, because I just am not, not always up there paying attention. And I think that's probably to do with my dyslexia. So when I was in my last year of primary school, I was doing really well for myself. Even though I was dyslexic, I was still pretty high up there in the reading in groups. And then I went to my first year of high school and I got put in the bottom set because they saw that I was dyslexic on my form. There was all my friends were in my group that had gone to like the second, the top set, and I didn't. And it was really difficult because I had to work my way up. Every year I got moved up one set. And in my final year of high school, I won the English prize and I have never been more proud. And it literally took six years of my life to get to the point where I felt comfortable in re reading and writing to a point where I felt like it was someone else could even read it and appreciate what I'd written. And so yeah, it takes a long time to get to the point where you feel comfortable in your own like language abilities, but you can get there 100%. One of the benefits of being dyslexic, as my mum kind of crudely explained to me when I was younger, was the way that we process information. So for some people, if you were to ask them a geography question, it just goes straight to the geography part of their mind. But for a dyslexic, it goes to the maths part, and then the English part, and then the part how to ride a bike, and then to the part that I actually needs to get to. And what that means is it takes us longer to just take in information, and that can be sometimes seen as a hindrance. But what it also means is that I see a problem from like lots of different angles and it means that when I'm trying to tackle a problem, I in some way feel like I have an advantage because I can take a creative or non-conventional look at that problem.